Ming Lava, welcome to East Sleep Yangon channel. And uh, this is an episode about some of the historic buildings in Yangon. And uh, firstly, I'm going to talk about the, one of the famous historic uh, hotel in Yangon, which is the Strand Hotel. Now, the Strand was opened since 1901, and uh, it was built by British but, and was acquired by the Sakis brother. And it's uh, one of the most famous and historic historic. Uh, hotel in Yangon today. Uh, this look like is uh, put on all of the old buildings uh, because we want to preserve the old buildings in Yangon. And here it said that the hotel is established by the Sakis brothers who are famed, famous as the uh, Armenian hoteliers. And uh, this hotel is the oldest one in Yangon it's, and is referred to as the Grand Dame of Yangon. Uh, as we all know that uh, Myanmar was part of the British Empire and uh, uh, what, what we knew was that all of the old empire, uh, all of the old buildings were owned by British. Uh, but this is actually not true. Um, actually, uh, some buildings are owned by different part of the people from different part of the uh, British Empire, like from Armenia, from uh, Indian, Over 100 years old building, uh, it was restored and renovated very well, and we can see that it's still very beautiful. building and uh, what we call Nima Port Authority and uh, this is still used today. Uh, and uh, this building is the Green Leeds Bank and uh, this was the one of the largest banks uh, operating in India uh, but after Myanmar has got independence it, this building has turned into the National Museum from 1970 to 1996 and uh, this building was built in article design that we haven't restored yet and I hope uh, it's restored one day and it becomes beautiful again. Uh, the building behind 
behind me is the Randa House and it was open since uh, 1932 and uh, we turned this building into the uh, tax office. Now is uh, one of the most beautiful old building maybe and uh, it's partly renovated to the sofa house, sofa building. Uh, the downstairs part of this building is renovated into the trendy cafe shop and uh, souvenir shop but uh, the upstairs is still not, not uh, renovated yet. One more bootleg here, and it said that this building was known as the Brandarian House, and it was constructed by the Jewish Sophia family. And for many decades, it housed for most of the plastic farms uh, since 1930. And uh, since 1971, the Lokanda Gallery was established in, on the first floor, and uh, since then, the name was turned into the Lokanda building. And now we are at Myanmar House Lucky Made Shop, which sells mostly the uh, hand woven fabrics from Myanmar and also some souvenirs. Let's go around and check. And uh, here we can see uh, some, some kinds of souvenir, and uh, the price range is like uh, from uh, 25,000 chairs and up to 100,000 chairs. And uh, here in my hand is one of the um, hand woven fabrics from Yammer. And uh, here it said that this is purely made from the authentic lotus threads and uh, no toxic or chemical substances added and the price range is about three hundred dollars and i found some jewelries which are, which are made with Myanmar amber Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video and you probably like this video and this video. See you next time. Bye bye.